The Gracie family is one of the most significant sports families in history. The essence of their style is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and involves choke holds, arm bars and submission holds passed down from the samurai. After the boom of the Ultima Fighting Championship in 1993 through to today, the sport of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has been popularized and evolved to being practiced in every corner of the globe. Down, over and out, and I know what they It's down, I find myself, flat on my face. I pick myself up and get back in the race. I... <laughs> uh -huh. My name is Hiram Gracie. I am 20 years old and I'm from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. The Gracie family still has a singular flag to carry as a pioneering juggernaut which primarily influenced the sport's inception. It's from 1997 to 2012. Z, 2012. I'm X. Okay. <laughs> I don't identify as Generation Z. I don't, right? Z is the recent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Z. <laughs> The lineage of Elio and Carlos Gracie combined make up the majority lineage of all BJJ masters today, and the children and grandchildren they influenced still bears fruit. Up and coming Gracie warriors of the combat sports dynasty seek to connect to their deepest spiritual purpose on the mat, in the ring and face to face with the best in the world, which today isn't the same game their ancestors once played. Today, the stakes have evolved and the competition is more prepared. The popularity of the family art means the battle is fought on a higher plane. What will the next generation do when faced with a burning sense of commitment they have to their name and the pressure of facing their ultimate opponent? When you're born, you're like a, your baby just got out of there and they're already moving you around the mat, you know, putting the gi on, the little gi on. So I, I don't recall my first memory. But um, one of the nicest memories I had from training were when I was in Sao Paulo with my dad in the ring. He had a, a ring inside his apartment uh, where he used to train for the fights in Japan and stuff like that. So th those, are, those are one of the earliest memories I had from training. Was it in Sao Paulo? A warrior spirit that has been alive for thousands of years and is just walking up to a new battle on a new day. I mean, how this, you know. I grew up hearing the stories from Hanzo, from my dad, from Hal, from you know Hickson, from every everybody, you know. And uh, it was different back then. You know, sometimes I look around and I'm like, man, I wish I was born, you know, 40 years ago, you know, a while ago. But it's it's totally different. The the the, the culture is different. People, you you know, you can't you can't make a joke. You can't play around. People are too sensitive. You know, nowadays. Yeah. The grip, now I'm on top. Whoa. So the first pass failed, now I'm in a much better position. I was counting on that red. I'm going to start training this motion and pass. Okay? So just so you guys know this, uh, my test. 